Hello everyone, in this short we're going to talk about Terraform plan files. I have a Terraform configuration here that creates an SSH key and a virtual machine. And the only thing that I want to point out here is that the virtual machine will receive the region that it's going to be deployed in via this data source, right? So I have a data source up here and this data source will retrieve the region that I should deploy the virtual machine in. This data source is coming from a local file here, a local shell script. And it's just simulating what a real data source would do, right? Normally, the data sources that you're using with Terraform will be, they'll reach out to the, the API that you're working with and fetch some information back. But in this case, just to show you an example, uh, I'm just doing that locally, right? I have a, a local data source simulating what I would do normally. But the point of the matter is that the region that I'll be getting back from this data source is NYC3. Now, if I initialize this configuration and I plan it, you'll see that Terraform will want to create this virtual machine in New York City 3. Now that's great, right? Like let's say you're running Terraform in CI CD and you have a step that runs Terraform plan and it prints out the fact that it wants to go into New York City 3 and you approve that, but you don't run the Terraform apply for maybe like an, an hour or so. Maybe you went out to lunch or something happened. And in the time that it took you to, to go out to lunch and come back, the upstream data source that you're using, it changed. Let's say that instead of New York City 3, the region changed to SFO1, right? The data source changed, something changed uh, outside of your control. So when you now go to run Terraform apply, it's gonna use SFO1. But that's not, the, that's not what you approved in the plan before you went out to lunch, right? Something changed. That data source, the information that the data source was fetching changed behind the scenes. And now the plan that you approved before you went out to lunch and the apply that you're going to run after you came back from lunch are going to do two different things. That's a problem. So how can you prevent that? Well, you can prevent that with using what's called Terraform plan files. So let me go ahead and change this back to New York City 3 for a second. When you run Terraform plan, there is an output file, uh, an output flag that you can run or out flag. And you can say, hey, I would like you to output this plan to this file. When you do that, Terraform saves a plan file as a binary file called, you know, whatever you, you've named it. In this case, I named mine plan.tfplan. Now that means even if that data source changes and under the, you know, out from under you, when I go to apply that plan and I do apply uh, plan.tfplan, now what I approved before and what's gonna happen now are gonna be the same. Inside that plan file, the fact that New York City 3 was the region was saved to that plan file. So now even if you apply that plan file 24 hours from now, it'll still try to use NYC3 as its region. And to show you that, going into the UI, you'll see that my virtual machine is being created in NYC3. But if I were to generate a new plan, like if I were to do Terraform plan again, now the new data source read will be there, obviously, right? Because now the new plan file has, has refreshed and seen the new data source. So plan files are a really good way to make sure that the, the, the changes that you are planning are going to be the exact changes that you're applying. So if you're running Terraform in some sort of automated fashion, maybe in CI CD, you must be using plan files like this, right? If you're not, you are just asking for non-deterministic behavior between your plans and applies. So to recap, when Terraform runs plans and apply operations, they refresh every data source that they know about. So if data changes between the plan and the apply phase, there's a chance that the thing that you planned will not be the thing that you're going to apply. How do you fix that? Use what's called Terraform plan files and you save your plan to a binary file. And then later on, when you're ready to apply that plan, you can just apply that binary file directly. Thank you for watching this short and I will see you in the next one.